Are we now about to talk about some Attack on Titan Shinjeki no Kyojin chapter today? Oh the fuck yeah we are! I've got to say for this chapter, this one really gave a lot of character definitely to Historia, like a lot of stuff. Even with the styling of the chapter, it gave her a little back. And we get to show that. I'm pretty sure that woman that we see from like Eren's like a little flashback and also as well from Historia, I'm guessing that is Doya's real mother. We're seeing like, it, it seemed like she really did care for the child when you see like, you know, reading books tell her, oh, you want to grow up like this kind of woman like that. And it seems like there's more to the family than there is. She seems to have the ability that made Historia get about her. And you see like, maybe that's like what she's done. Maybe there was some really important stuff that Historia maybe forgot about, about the family. There's reasons for that. I mean, she probably just casually did that because, you know, she don't want to be remembered and, uh, and maybe like as well, like the army as well was looking at her and saying, yeah, she really can't get close to this woman. So it's very like questionable why she kept trying to like make um sorry to lose her memories like that. But that's also as well when you see like when she picked up the Krista persona, maybe even though she forgot about it, maybe she like just had an ideal for this woman thing, you know? That's sort of why the Krista persona came into the match and she said, Historia is not a kind person, like but the Krista version I really want to make up. And then you see like later on with chapter main folks was Ikasa and Levi going in, saving Armin and Jan. Like which I actually thought was actually Sasha last chapter so yeah <laughs> um it actually got a little bit more disturbing than that when that guy tried to grope and then you see that the guy was actually enjoying it and you turned me into this you can't do something about that um no say so, i gotta say even mikasa slipping up a bit like she nearly got shot in the face like point blank and it was up to like sasha saving them i was gonna say but i gotta say as well another good thing i really liked about this chapter was that it seems like the art really improved in this chapter like lady manga like he's been a little bit while you know improving on his art i gotta say i really do like the art now in time i think it's improved boundaries than what it was when I started reading it but it was really really good and um, Levi actually questioning the president who we actually saw like all those like chapters and episodes ago who's the one blocking the freaking wall that couldn't get out that Mikasa you know really want to put the freaking blade up to his nutsack but took him the question and saying you know oh what about the president's motions uh motors and he said I can't really say anything otherwise the brigade, uh, the brigade will kill me but he's saying, you know, Levi said he will give Aaron and Krista to him. He's saying on three conditions. One, the Reeves company rises against both the governor and the brigade with the survey, which already is like a crazy condition to accept. The, um, the Reeves company will completely trust them, which is something not even heard in, in his business. He's saying, yo, I'm a tricking trader. There's no such thing as like sort of trust with us. And three, they pretty much had to give them all rare goods. I'm like, damn, Levi, you really want it? He's like, he said, I want that black tea, motherfucker. Give me that shit. He's like, and then Sasha was going to care. He's like, Sasha, I know you want those good quality potatoes, but you gotta focus on the mission first. And then you see, like, it's pretty surprised that they actually accepted this mission. And then you even see at the side, you know, that Reeves take the regrade out of the Talorum, saying, oh, this is where, you know, Aaron and all them are out at the moment. So they go there and they actually fall down a cliff and cause a few of them to die in some of these horses. And this is just for them to buy time. And you even see, like, around about the end of the chapter to, to get Aaron, uh, Aaron and Krista, they're using like, all this just to make sure that they can get people in. And it shows that, you know, how desperate, you know, the brigade and, you know, also the king as well is to get Aaron and Krista as well. Because you see that the king is ignoring his people and maintenance on the wall that he has paying everything to make sure he gets these two. And the chapter just ends with um that uh, that guy that freaking killed the um Pastor Nick being tortured by um Anji and freaking uh Levi. So I'm happy that guy's gonna get his justice hurt. And then also is where we see a little picture of the king as well, just there drinking and enjoying himself. And overall, like the chapter itself, very dialogue heavy, a little bit of progression here and there. But overall, like finding out a little bit of um information out. I really did like we got a lot of development in this chapter for Historia and a little bit with Aaron as well. Like I kinda like that he talked around about the end of the chapter saying, you know, in the end of the day, Historia, you're still yourself, you're still the same kind person that I met and, you know, cared about. Overall, for this chapter, I give this one a 6.5 this week. It was alright, but not too much in progression-wise and stuff, but I will give him the fair doubt that they're saying that his art really looked good in this chapter, but that's all for me. I want to thank them much for watching as always, and remember, I'll see you guys.